Yo, as always, like, share, subscribe. Now let's just get into it. So Michigan just lost to Georgia in horrible fashion, the kind of way you don't want to lose a playoff game. But uh, let's just get into this. So Michigan just got out coached. And I know people are going to say, well, uh, the talent. Well, everyone knew we were Georgia had more talent than us. You can look at the recruiting rankings, whatever you want. But the fact is, when you have less talent than a team, you make up for the talent with coaching. So we got out coached in this game. If you've got less talent than a, ta than a team, you can't get out coached. If you do, it'll be like it was tonight. Now, the way we got out coached, first Mike McDonald. Mike McDonald got out coached. Uh, Whoever uh, Georgia's offensive coordinator, he both their offensive and defensive coordinator, they did their homework. So Mike McDonald wanted to play that off coverage, that off man kind of coverage, and Georgia just exposed it. Like they were throwing sc wide receiver screens, they were throwing uh, swing passes, things like that, and it was just. They were in, getting in this. They were doing it on first down, second down. It's second and two, second and one. So, and this is from the beginning of the game. Like, so even we all know he loves to blitz corners. So he's blitzing corners, and and I talked about this when I was asked, answering questions. When you blitz corners, or you do the the mugging technique which I'll get into that in a second, you blitz in a corner, how can you beat that? Well, you throw a screen to where the blitz is coming from because there's nobody else to tackle them. Or you're putting yourself in a numbers, in a bad numbers game. So we, he's trying to blitz and they throw the ball right, throw a screen right to where the blitz is coming from. It was another play, uh, I think it was a third down where we do the mugging technique where there's what six, I think there was like six guys at the line. Our linebackers are everybody's at the line. They throw a swing pass. Well, when you got everybody on the line faking like they're gonna blitz and they throw a swing pass, there's nobody out there to tackle them. So he just got he got out coached. Mike McDonald. I mean, everybody got out coached, but Mike McDonald got out coached. Okay, and it'll end up like this. So he should have been, he should have ran either more zones or more press coverage. Now, with saying tighter coverage, uh, Vincent Gray, I, I said I wanted you to stay. You can, you can go and go. You can, you, you go and go. Because you just quitting on deep passes. You just stop running. You got good coverage and you just stop running. Don't I can see if you find the ball and oh he's not throwing here, but, but you don't even find the ball. You just stop running, like things like that. They just they just kill you. So Mike McDonald, his whole scheme just got out coached, got picked apart on the weaknesses of it and how to exploit it. He did. See, we struck. Georgia did their homework on on our defense, but it looks like. McDonald didn't do the research on how to slow them down. And it cost him. Now, on offense, Gaddis called. He, he just called a horrible game. And this is going to – you didn't do your homework. You have less talent than them. We all know that. But you watch the film of teams that did beat them. Well, Alabama beat them or teams – that were able to move the ball had some success. What did they do to have success? Well, if they're not throwing downfield, they're throwing screens. They hit a little jet sweep. 
Didn't see any jet sweeps, no wide receiver screens. You have to, a, a, a defense like this, you have to make them defend the whole field. So that's running the ball, that's the jet sweeps, that's the swing passes, and that's also wide receiver screens. Now, the swing passes didn't work. Dean was on top of that. But you had, you could have ran the screens, especially on blitzing downs. You just didn't, you didn't run a screen all game. You didn't run a jet sweep all game. You try to reverse, you faked a a reverse trying to get cute, you got sacked. So it was just like you didn't do your homework. You didn't do your homework. You came out and did most of the same things that you've been doing all year. You didn't, okay, what has... Because, yes, we want to win the Big Ten. Yes, we want to beat Ohio State. But to get to where we want to be and to to win a championship, you're going to need J.J. It's just, and, this is, and this is the number one reason why I'm watching this game. Because when they blitzed J.J., J.J. was able to get away and turn a, a sack into a no game or – turn a sack into a gain of some yards. So... gets hit a few times he starts getting happy feet I remember there was a drag there was a drag and there was there was a rush in the pocket the drag is for like three yards but he's wide open he can get the five yards we need for the first down and the rush is coming K could have just put it put it just throw it throw it in front of him there's nobody on the other side of the field throw it in front of him give him a chance instead he gets nervous and takes a sack tries to get away takes a sack so those are just the little things like that. They they add up. So yeah, if JJ started this game, we probably still would have lost. But it's just he gives you the better chance. When the talent goes up, you can see the difference. JJ just has more talent. He gives us the best chance to win. Now we had a good season. Taking nothing away from none of the players, we had a good season. And everything, but this the coaching staff got out coached, and I just hate I hate to see it because players players can only do so much. They can only do so much. The coaching has to put them in the right position. And McDonald and Gaddis, they just got out coached. They just got out coached, just like they said. Uh, we we just gonna do what we've been doing all year. That's basically what I saw was we're going to do what, what we've been doing all year and it, it, they ain't going to be able to stop it. Well, you're playing against a good defense and a pretty a good offense. You need to go through their film and make adjustments for what they want to do. And I just didn't see it. Uh, what was it? Uh, honestly, McDonald played. It looked like Don Brown was almost coaching this game. I'm seeing zero coverage. That's for those that don't know. That's no safety over the top. You you see Colson. You see uh, Cook go go out wide, and you let a, a linebacker stay on him. 
they're putting him out there for a reason. That's that's the go-to guy. As soon as I saw, I did my home. See, I did my homework on Georgia. So as soon as I saw him go out there, I said they're going to him. I said it to my nephew before the before the snap. As soon as I saw him go out there, I said, "Why is a linebacker on him? They're going there." Then they go there. Touchdown. See, it's it's not hard when you do the homework and you respect the other team. Soon as they, they they did that, it should have been a timeout called or the safety. So the safety takes like a, a, a tight end or something, and then now you got a running back on a linebacker touchdown. It's just like, bro, did you do your homework? Like it's like you didn't respect. It's like you didn't respect what they bring to the table. So all all respect to Georgia and what they did, but from from me watching us all year in. No, and me watching what Georgia did does, it's like you just didn't respect. You just didn't. You didn't respect what they do. Like, bro, you needed a you needed a safety over the top at all times, at least sometimes two safeties. It just didn't make sense to me. And Gaddis, Gaddis' scheme, what Gaddis did, he just I don't, I'm not sure what he was thinking. Like, you just can't. So, if you see a team is faster than you, you have to with to negate speed, you have to make them play sideline to sideline and 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 guard the whole field. The only thing you did was swing passes. And you just continue to run swing passes when you see they didn't work. So you just going to beat your head against the wall knowing it's not going to work. I, I didn't see not one wide receiver screen. Why not? When I watched Bama against them, I saw them running wide receiver screens. When I watched Bama play them, I saw jet sweeps. I saw the reverses. We didn't do none of this stuff. Like, why are you not running these things? If I can watch the film and see that this, these things can work, why aren't you seeing it and then calling those plays? That's, that's the troubling thing for me. So, honestly, even when we were getting some stops in the Coach out executed everything, so it ain't it, it, it really ain't much to say. I mean, it is what it is. Let's see. Once once we did get down, no urgency. When, when, when we get when we got down twenty some in the second half, and we're driving, no urgency. Taking your time to huddle up, things like that. You. Where's the urgency? You de- yeah, you down twenty, yeah, you down twenty four. But it's it's the start of the second half. No huddle, urgency. It's just it just wasn't there. Uh, let's see. Cade Cade scared in the pocket. I talked on that. 
you know the pass rush is coming, bro, but you know the play. So you run a, somebody running a drag route. That drag route is going to be open most of the time. You see it, throw it. Who cares the pass rush is coming? You're throwing a three-yard pass. Throw the ball. You're not fast. What are you trying to run for? Let it, let it go. Let's see. The blitzing of the corners on 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 blitzing corners, they exposed it, and you still went back to it later in the game. You had to take it out. This was a game for us to rush for and play coverage. That would have been your best bet to rush for and run a cover a cover four or a, a, a cover two or something a zone. This. This wasn't the game to be trying to play man defense, off coverage man defense. Now, if you would have played press coverage man, you may with two safeties over the top, you might have would have had a chance. But playing that off man coverage, you didn't give yourself a chance with all those screens and swing passes and stuff. Just didn't. Uh, I talked on Vincent Gray. And it, that's pretty much it, y'all. We just got out coach Gaddis. Gaddis, uh, McDonald, Hardball, whoever, whoever on the team, they got, they just got out coached, out executed. Less, if you got less talent than the team, you have to out coach the other team, and they just didn't. And honestly, it, it just looked like they didn't do the homework and didn't respect Georgia, what Georgia does, and try to go at the weaknesses from what you saw in past games, from the Bama game. And I'm not talking about downfield. I'm talking about in the short game, screens and things like that. Didn't even try to do them. Jet sweeps, didn't even try to do them. You got out, coach. And then the JJ. This is the last stubborn thing Harbaugh has to, has to get out of his head for the future. You, you don't have loyalty to any play. You don't have loyalty to, to a player when you another player can give you the a, a chance to win. So second half, yeah, we down. After K throws that 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 second pick, he shouldn't have played again. Like, what are you what do what is he playing for? You're getting a pa they're getting a pass rush and you have a quarterback, a five-star quarterback that you trust to play already that can run. So you put him in because he's going to give you a better chance. He can make all the throws. So that's not an excuse. You need to, JJ should have been in that game after the first drive in the second half. It should have been JJ's from then on. You go, you switching them in and out. Why? Why? JJ can give you what K gives you. So we needed his legs. As we saw when he got in and when they were blitzing and things like that, he could get away because he can run. So there was no need to leave JJ, I mean, leave Cade in the game. He ain't getting it done. Sit him down. See, great coaches will do that. They'll sit a quarter, okay, you've had plenty enough time. You only got us three points. Time for you to sit down. You ain't bringing us back. It's obvious. You ain't bringing us back because our offensive line is struggling, so we need someone that can run. No offense, but you can't run. JJ, this your game. Go try, go try to win it for us. So, for me, to me, you just took too much time. You, you bringing dudes in and out. You, you bring it in J.J. J.J. makes a nice throw or a run. You bring in Cade back in. It's too late for that, bro. It's too late. We down 24. You, you sit him, you sit Cade down, and you let J.J. have the show. Stop trying. I know it's a hard, it's, a, it's hard because Cade done got you there, but you, you, have to, you have to understand this ain't just about Cade. It's 50, 60, 70 dudes on the team. So this ain't just about Cade. He ain't he can't give you the
personal, but we're trying to win the game, and you don't give us the best chance. So I'll talk about this at another time, but for next year, it's, it's got to be J.J. Cade's ceiling just ain't high enough, and when, when you face a, a team that pressures you, he struggles because he, it's almost like he don't want to get hit. He don't want to get hit in the pocket. J.J., J.J. don't care about getting hit. He'll, he'll run outside the pocket, and he ain't, he, don't, he don't slide. He'll take the big hit and get right back up. He craves the hit. It seems like he craves the, the physicality. Like, he wants to take the. that you know what I'm saying if we lost a close game but losing like that and getting out coached it, it just don't sit right with me so that's all I got for this one y'all happy new year to everyone if you made it this far happy new year enjoy it be safe like share subscribe and as always go blue